Hi, welcome to another Siler Instrument Quick Tip. This is going to be part two on the Point Manager. Today I'm using Trimble Access version 2016.11. When you go under the Job, Point Manager, by default your screen displays grid coordinates. Name North, East, Elevation, and if you scroll to the right either by dragging this bar or tapping this arrow, it also shows you the feature code any notes that are associated with this point, and a timestamp. You choose what gets dis displayed on the screen by tapping this display at the bottom. I can display grid coordinates. If I tap code, what's nice is it moves the code field, instead of having it far to the right, it moves it to column number two. So it makes it a lot easier to edit feature codes when you can see the point number and the code together. I can also display total station data by horizontal angle, vertical angle, slope distance. I can do GPS coordinates with WGS84 or Earth Center Earth Fixed. A change to 20, version 2016.11 is now if I tap station and offset, it automatically picks an alignment. I have to go over here to the options key here at the bottom of the screen. And then I can do the station and offset relative to any line, arc, alignment, tunnel, or road that exists in my user folder. So if I do pick alignment, I can go over here to a list. It shows me all of the alignments that are available to me in my current user project folder. If it's in a different folder under my username, I can go down here and hit the add button and add the alignment from a separate folder. Now that I have set my display by station and offset and I picked the alignment, as shown in the point manager tech tip number one, you can click on any of the columns so if I click on the station column, it's sorting it right now, small to large. If I tap again, it's going large to small. So you can see there's many ways to display points within the point manager. Coordinates, measured data. The last one is by target height. And we'll discuss that in point manager video number three. Thank you for listening to this Siler Instrument Quick Tip.